During the 60-day retreat, yogis from abroad, monks, lay devotees, lay yogis, lay female yogis, lay male yogis, as well as some of the local yogis, practice in this meditation retreat. And one month has finished already, and it is the beginning of the second month. During the retreat, yogis are practicing the three trainings, sila, samadhi, banya, respectfully, meticulously, as much as they can, so that their bodily behavior, verbal behavior, become pure, clean, and the mindfulness become more and more continuous. As much the mindfulness is continuous, the defilements have no chance to arise. And the purity of the mind will be strengthened. And one will discern the Nama Rupa cause and effect. And by continuing the practice, One's knowledge will become mature. Amazingly, cherishing the sila, it is quite satisfactory, practicing the sila, morality, cherishingly. The practice of sila is a big support to the development of the mind and the knowledge. As much one practice, as much one practices the three training, sila, samadhi, and banya, one's life will be uplifted and one will gain profit in one's life through the practice of sila, samadhi, and banya. Even the sila alone is quite satisfactory. And cultivating samadhi concentration, it will be better and the person will be loved and respected by others. It is not important to be, um, even if one does not get respected and loved, but it will be satisfying not to be blamed, not to get the blame from others. By controlling one's body, speech, and mind, one will not be hurting others, one will not be tormenting others. So in this way, by controlling oneself, the others are protected from being hurt, and there will be mutual benefit for oneself as well as others. Whenever one thinks of it, one feels satisfied to have good control of one's body, speech, and mind, as well as protecting others from being hurt. If the if half of the population in the world can control themselves, control their physical behavior, verbal behavior, it will be very pleasant. But now, There are a lot of people, many of the people in the world lack sila. Because there is the lack of sila, morality, the planets are not normal anymore. There is the the, uh, natural disasters such as getting no rain at all, or flooding, or the plantation get ruined with natural disaster, and people suffer. There is famine, as well as the epidemic of illnesses arising, and people suffer. For such kind of natural disaster and the epidemic, 
take place because people in the world are lacking moral conduct. By practicing Siddhipatthana meditation, the moral conduct will be uplifted, the weather climate becomes normal, and the plantation do not get ruined by natural disaster, and thus there will be prosperity, and people will prosper. And there will be peacefulness in the world. People have said goodbye to the old year with dangerous kind of happiness, fatal kind of happiness, and welcoming the new year with dangerous, fatal happiness, which has no essence, which is no, which is not meaningful. The more meaningful way to say goodbye to the old year and to welcome the new year is through the practice. Welcoming the new year through the practice, there will not be any problems. So people say that one only gets new year once every year. But in fact, one should be Good saying goodbye to the old year, old day, old hour, old minute, and old second through the practice of Siddhipatthana meditation, welcoming the new year, new month, new day, new hour, new minute, and new second by practicing Siddhipatthana meditation. So welcoming the new year, new day, uh, new hour, new minute, new second. Nobody gets hurt. One is not tormenting others, not even in the mind. And it is very satisfactory to welcome the new year, the new month, new moment by practicing Siddhipatthana meditation. Having complete faith and confidence in the teachings of the Buddha, one will practice diligently, respectfully. By fulfilling sila and practicing Siddhipatthana meditation, one discerns the Dhamma, and one will be able to make use of the Dhamma that one has realized. By practicing Siddhipatthana meditation, one gains knowledge stage by stage. It is important to understand how one should do and one should understand the proper work that one should do. And Others will love and cherish and respect and help and support the person who fulfills the sila. Even though one may not have reached the noblehood by realizing Nibbana, but in order to realize the Nibbana to be a noble person, one should practice respectfully, meticulously. One should practice on time. And during the practice, sitting down, standing up should be done mindfully. All the daily activities should be done mindfully. There should be walking, meditation, being mindful of the steps. Practicing the sila, morality, cherishing me, as well as having mindfulness all the time. Asserting effort in the asserting effort in the practice 
there will be sustained mindfulness, there will be purification of the mind, and the person discern nama rupa, cause and effect, and one develops knowledge stage by stage. People love and cherish the person who does the proper work. And other people will be interested, love and respect the person whoever does proper work, especially the practice. One does not have to wish for the love and respect of others deliberately, but the others will automatically love and respect the person who does the proper kind of work especially the practice and the relationship with others will become smooth and one's life will have a guarantee. One's life will also be smooth. So one does not need to do things in order to make others love, but the others will love the person automatically when the person does the proper kind of work. By practicing Siddhipatthana meditation, the person becomes cultured and gentle so that there is no one who dislikes him or her. Nobody will misunderstand the person and nobody will hate the person who is tamed and cultured through the practice. Atanogama means the work that one should do, the kind of work that one must do. If there are things that should be done, one should really do it. One must really do it. There are four factors to determine the important work. It should be done. The first factor is it should be done. One cannot do without doing it. It is compulsory. One should do it. For example, one should refrain from things that should be refrained from. And the second is, one should do it by oneself. No other person can do it on behalf. And the third is, one should do on time, in a timely manner. And the fourth is, it is beneficial. So, based on these four factors, the Sripatthana meditation is the important work for every person. It is not just important, but it is urgently important. One should do it. One must do it. So, the three trainings, It's a must for everyone. One should do it. Sila Samadhi Banya, Morality, Concentration and Banya, Wisdom, should be practiced. In order not to transgress by body and speech, one should practice the Sila, Morality, so that there will be peacefulness. And one should Avoid, refrain from transgression. Have a samadhi concentration. The defilements cannot enter the mind. Practicing with effort, there will be sustained mindfulness. The mind will be calm and collected. There are two kinds of practice. 
samatha practice. In the practice of samatha, one needs to calm the mind. In the samatha practice, one does not have to note the wandering of the mind, but focus the mind onto a single object in the samatha practice. In the vipassana practice, one should be noting every arising object that becomes obvious in order to cultivate mindfulness, in order to cultivate concentration. When the mind is calm, collected, there will not be obsessive defilements in the mind. One will not want to commit transgression, not even mentally. And one should be mindful of whatever object that arises. And if the defilements arise, one should note it right away. And the mind becomes pure and clean. The person should do the work that should be done. And if one does not have the opportunity, one cannot do it. But the kind of work that is compulsory, it is a must. One should do it, one must do it. Through the practice of Satipatthana meditation, when Samadhi Sikha, concentration training, when Viriya Sati and Samadhi effort, mindfulness and concentration become strengthened, one cultivates knowledge stage by stage. So through the practice, one will be weakening, suppressing the defilements that have been following throughout the round of assistances. So the defilement will get weaker and weaker. And when the knowledge becomes mature, one will totally remove the defilement by realizing Nibbana. So the three trainings, Sila, Samadhi and Banya, should be practiced. One should refrain from wrongdoings by body and speech in order not to let the obsessive defilements arise in the mind, one should prevent, cure, and suppress the defilements so that the defilements get weaker and weaker, and finally the defilements will be uprooted. Atanogama means one's own work, which should be done. So one should do the work, one must do the work. One should fulfill the work and other people will love and respect the person whoever does the proper work, whoever practices the three trainings, Silas, Madi and Panya, whoever practices the three trainings, will be loved and respected by others. So these three trainings, Sila, Samadhi and Panya, are one's true work, one's own work. <coughs> Among the three trainings, for monks, there should be Satu Bari Soti Sila, there should be four kinds of sila that should be purified in every way. There are rules forbidding from certain things, and one should not break the rule. One should control oneself so that one will the monk should not be making an offense by breaking the rule. There should be restraint of the senses, restraining the eye, ears, 
knows, and so on. And one, the monk should not be seeking for the four requisites, food, robes, the dwelling place, and the medicine in an unlawful way. So monks should not be obtaining these four requisites in an improper way. And whatever the requisites that the monks get, monks should make use of it by reflecting the benefit of using them. So they are called to do Parisuddhi Sila. The four kinds of Sila that should be purified in every way. And by being pure and clean, observing this Sadhubari Sodhi Sila, the monk will be able to practice smoothly. As a lay person, a lay person should observe at least the five precepts. So they are the precepts, morality, of that of the monk, of that of the lay person that should be practiced. And sati, mindfulness, kandi, patience, forbearance, viriya, effort. When these three, sati, kandi, and viriya, are fulfilled, the sila is automatically involved. By fulfilling sati mindfulness, kandi patience, and viriya courage. The how precious the mindfulness is is explained in the text. At one time, one of the hermits who had attained the lokiyasana, the hermit who had attained absorption came to ask the Buddha some questions. So it so one di sabadi sota sotana ke nivarana sotana samaram bruhi ke na sota pitiyare meaning that there are currents flowing everywhere the craving current Ditti, wrong view, current, as well as the dosa, anger, current, the conceit, current, jealousy, current, they are, such currents are flowing without a stop. So, not being able to suppress the mind, the dosarita, the evil conduct current, also flows con- continuously. Killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, slandering, lying. These evil conduct currents are flowing continuously. And there is the current not knowing correctly, knowing wrongly. Avijja current, ignorance current, is also flowing continuously. And the hermit asked the Buddha, By what can these currents be blocked? And by what these currents be cut? So it is, these questions are very noteworthy of Asking. And Jani Sotani Lokasme Sati Desa Nivarana. Buddha replied that these currents are blocked and stopped by Sati mindfulness. So having mindfulness, the Dosarita Sota, the evil conduct current, Avijja Sota, ignorance current, these currents come to a stop 
by being mindful, the currents become weaker and weaker, and by developing knowledge, the currents will be cut totally. By being mindful, having mindfulness, the dosarita soda evil conduct current will be stopped. By noting the object continuously every single second, sati mindfulness develops, samadhi concentration develops, the dosarita evil conduct will not be committed and thus the dosarita soda will come to a stop. Developing knowledge stage by stage through the practice of Sripatthana. By cultivating knowledge, avijja, ignorance will also come to a stop. And by developing knowledge, dhana, craving is also, craving current is also coming to a stop. Deity Soda, Wrong view current is also coming to a stop. So the defilement current come to a stop through the practice by developing mindfulness. Abhijja ignorance is also coming to a stop. Having Viriya Sati and Samadhi effort mindfulness and concentration, the current will come to a stop. And by cultivating knowledge, these currents will be cut. So by practicing, the currents will be cut momentarily. And finally, by realizing Nibbana, these currents will come to be cut totally. If the person is giving priority, for family, relatives, as well as for oneself, there will be lack of mindfulness. There will be lack of mindfulness and that now craving arises based on the object that the person comes across. At times, these currents, that now current flows swiftly, at times it flows roughly, at times, it flows in great momentum, just like the waterfall. What really exists are the Nama Rupa, but the person has wrong view that there is Atta, there is Self. And the person believes in Brahma Atta, Supreme Soul, creating. In this way, the person has wrong belief on Creator. And the person Take it as permanent, good, and self. There will be deity, wrong view. So deity, current also flows. At times there is envy, jealousy, dissatisfaction. Such currents are flowing. And indulging in these defilements, there will be transgression, the Dhojajrita current, evil conduct, will flow continuously. Not knowing, there will be avijja, ignorance current, flowing continuously. And not understanding that one should refrain from wrongdoings, such evil conduct will flow continuously. Being mindful of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching and so on, based on these objects, tatna, craving, does not arise. By being mindful of the object, understanding, knowing distinctly, the Nama Rupa, one understands that there is no Jiva Atta, there is no individual soul. And understanding cause and effect, one removes the wrong view of Brahma 
Atta. So in this way, one stops the current. By becoming a sotapanna, one will totally cut the current. Not knowing there will be a vicha current, but by discerning, by developing knowledge, the avicca current will come to a stop, but it is not totally cut yet. By fulfilling sila, the dosarita current will come to a stop. So one is weakening the currents so that the currents are coming to a stop momentarily. During the practice, one should not be afraid of pain or ache. There should be patience and forbearance. And one should have patience in every way. One should have forbearance. There should be sitting meditation, walking meditation on time, as well as doing general activities mindfully. And when others talk about you, there should not be, uh, one should not get upset about it. When coming for interview with a meditation teacher, one should not just be talking what he or she wants. And when the meditation teacher gives guidance and instruction, when the meditation teacher makes correction, the yogi should accept it. And one should not just be upset with whatever the meditation teacher corrects him or her. In this way, there should be patience, forgiveness, uh, sorry, patience, forbearance. Just as heat and cold, just as one should be patient with heat and cold in the same way, one should be patient with the conditions. One should prevent the defilement from arising by noting the object with aim and effort. In order to prevent the unwholesomeness, one should practice courageously and one will become purified. One should develop, cultivate, increase the wholesome mind and one should practice with diligent effort. Having a good control of oneself, one will not be committing transgression and the dosarita current will come to a stop. So one should perform the duty that one should do. One should fulfill sila, samadhi and banya. The person who fulfills sila, samadhi and banya will be loved and respected by others and it is very important not to get the blame of others and this will be all for today.